listen to me, boys! Uh, Always remember these words. Work hard, study well, and eat and sleep plenty. That is the Turtle Hermit way. We must master the art of peace in addition to the art of war! Shut up and fight! The Turtle Hermit School will be with you. Always. This will be I'm not crying. You're crying. Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Gaming. I'm Chris Chappell. This week, I'm proud to join you all in remembering Akira Toriyama, Grand Master of the Turtle Hermit School of Thought, Father of Goku, and through manga, anime, movies, and games, father to many of us, generations of us, huddled together around the TV this week, remembering simpler times and shedding a few tears of gratitude for the man who gave us some of our best friends and fondest memories. Whether it's reading the original Dragon Ball manga, first released to a Japanese audience on September 10th, 1985, playing Budokai Tenkaichi 2 on PlayStation 2 in the 2000s, or laughing to over 9,000 memes today, we have all at one point been students of the Turtle Hermit Way. And now, with Master Toriyama training in the outer world, we reflect on who this man was, the lessons he taught us, and how we can live his message moving forward so that the Turtle Hermit School can be with us always. So who was the man behind the hair? And what can his life tell us about Earth's greatest hero? In a rare interview from 1983, we can get a glimpse before Dragon Ball was even a manga. Akira Toriyama had already gained immense popularity with the success of his first serialized manga, Dr. Slump. A vastly different story with a vastly different tone from Dragon Ball, however, sharing many similar visual features in terms of the art style. Dr. Slump followed the story of a scientist and his adorable android friend as they explored Los Angeles with a cast of zany weirdos, including a fat Superman who couldn't fly but could roll around on a skateboard, and various proto forms of characters we'd see later throughout Dragon Ball giving insight into why, although still overall an action anime, Dragon Ball does have whimsical, perhaps even childlike elements associated with many of the themes, highlighting the influence of Toriyama's earlier work. Dr. Slump would make Akira Toriyama one of Japan's wealthiest people at only 28 years old. However, through the discussions had in the interview, we get an image of a much simpler man who never could have imagined that any manga artist, much less himself, could reach this level of success. Whereas the interviewer pushes the subject of Toriyama's wealth, he expresses that he has always been frugal and doesn't expect this to change, seeming much more interested in topics related to drawing, storytelling, and his relationship with his wife, fellow retired manga artist Yoshime Kato, than elements of his success, a true hermit master. He would live to demonstrate that he was being genuine during this interview, spending the majority of his life secluded in his hometown with his wife and two children, away from the hustle and bustle of the big city, creating his art in his home studio, with the help of his wife, until eventually passing the mantle of illustrator for Dragon Ball Super to fellow younger artist Toyotaro. His life then, unlike so many of the celebrities today who get corrupted by wealth, represents that of someone solely devoted to their craft, someone who did what he did out of a true love for their art, a love like a spirit bomb, strong enough to resonate around the world. You may not speak another language, but if you can say Goku, you can find a friend anywhere. With even Chicago gangs and Mexican drug cartels setting their differences aside as they share controllers and a bowl of popcorn this week, possibly around a playthrough of the last major release in the franchise, the 2020 game Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. A game that, although considered overly simplistic in gameplay by its critics, proves with its 9 out of 10 rating, regardless of a $60 price tag, the gamers don't actually need much more than a faithful retelling of the story they already love to be happy. And Kakarot does just that, representing the entirety of Dragon Ball Z in a 30 plus hour game for those looking to save time on rewatching the anime, with obvious effort being put into the character development, cutscenes, and overall story. Diehard fans may notice some scenes being taken out, but overall it does a great job of covering the main bases and respecting a series that has no equal. It may start to feel a bit tedious past the halfway point, as enemies and mission types begin to repeat, but we'll chalk that up to being part of training that turtle hermit patience. We'd like to think that Akira Toriyama would be proud, imperfections and all. 
much like understudy Saitama, who once expressed to us that the path to extreme human strength is 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10-kilometer run every single day. Goku's message also seems overly simplistic at first. He champions that through humility, mastering the basics of hard work, good diet, good sleep, and caring for those around you, you too can be a Super Saiyan. His story, largely influenced by the Chinese fable of Journey to the West, acting as an archetypal hero's journey, where he continually defeats greater and greater foes to return to a place of peace and calm with those he loves. The Turtle Hermit Way, then, as philosophy, embodying the beauty of the average and the ability to reach beyond yourself with hard work, a message that, through its simplicity, is both digestible and profound. Mirroring quotations such as Bruce Lee when he said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. The path towards success then being not necessarily fancy or even interesting, much like the simple man who chose to forsake the possibility of a celebrity life to live happily in the countryside, or the sane warrior with not much on his mind, but a lot on his heart. During a time when we all look for our answers outside ourselves, through consumerism, social media, and the hope that an AI overlord can fix the economy, we should ask ourselves, what would Goku do? And maybe we'd find out that life really is as easy as Master Roshi made it out to be to us in those hammocks long ago. Thank you for watching Deep Thoughts While Gaming. And remember, legends never die. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is coming out later this year, and we're still going to be here to continue championing the Turtle Hermit way, the Gohans to come. And hit that join button to join the over 9,000 followers of this channel. There aren't actually 9,000 followers. But you'll get access to exclusive emojis, live streams, episodes, a Discord server, and secret martial arts manuals. And check out this video about how to be like Goku and overcome your shadow in the game Monster Hunter Rise. I think you'll like it.